Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm glad to be here. Although I just introduced myself a few days ago, but uh, I still want to say nice to meet you to all of you, especially to Mr. Daimin. Uh, I hope this introduction will help you learn more about me. So on the screen uh, is my Chinese name, and it's pronounced like Gao Yu Tian. And Lydian is my English name. Uh, it's given by my English teacher, which uh, stands for a uh, lily flower, uh, a beautiful flower, which stands for uh, purity and sweet innocence. So I really like the meaning of this name. And uh, speaking of my favorite things, uh, the first came up in my mind is uh, definitely movies. Uh, I'm a big fan of movies. I not only like to watch movies, but also like to shoot it. Um, my story with movies came uh, date back to uh, 2012. Uh, it was I was only uh, 13 years old at that time, and I shot my first uh, macro movie with my best friend. Uh, we, both of us like to write stories, and one day we decide to turn the, those stories into film. And this is our first micro movie called uh, Lost, in, Lost in Love. It's, an, it's a horror film. <laughs> and so sh shooting experience is very exciting. And, uh, and then in uh, high school, um, I got my second chance to shoot movies. Our English teacher asked us to read a novel called The Wimpy Kid. And after reading it, we're going to shoot a movie for it. It's, uh, these are the f uh, posters of the film. And the third one is uh, also my favorite one. Uh, it's called the uh, 72 Hours. Um, I wrote this story on my own, and I'm the director of this film. It's also my most awarded one. Um, and the latest one, 19 Love Story, um, I shot this movie with Jessica, yeah, and also uh, Han Hannah Wong and uh, Max also performed in this, uh, yeah, in this film. Uh, okay, and then we shoot this movie with uh, students from Taiwan. Um, and in Nanjing University, we major in journalism and communication. Well, I divided our courses into four parts. And in <coughs> theory parts, uh, we'll briefly learn the introduction to communication studies. And uh, since uh, journalism is a subject uh, closely related to so sociology, so we also studied media and society. And uh, in, uh, in the history part, we not only study the uh, history of Chinese journalism, but also the Western media studies. And, and then we'll, we, we have courses to, uh, uh, to, to put our knowledge into practice, like we'll, uh, we'll learn the basic skills of journalism, like reporting, interviewing, writing, and the photography. And we also learn some uh, complex skills, like uh, visualization and social research. Um, uh, in the last part, communication, we learned English, of course, and in the first two years, we'll learn uh, some basic skills like uh, reading and writing and uh, listening, or listening and speaking. And uh, in the uh, later two years, we may some, uh, study something more difficult like academic reading and uh, essay writing, uh, as well as uh, cross-cultural communication. And uh, the strat strategy of communication is just what um, Professor Lee is teaching. And it's a very interesting one. Uh, we are sharing very uh, um, many uh, classic cases in advertising. Um, and uh, for projects, uh, we of course we will write varieties of news and also create some products. Uh, like um, we, I once uh, uh, create a. Uh, Visualization products with my group members is uh, called What is uh, 12369. Uh, it's a 
uh, H5 game, teaching people how to use environmental protection helpline. And also, as I just uh, introduced, that we uh, shoot movies with students from Taiwan. And we also, uh, and uh, a few months uh, ago, we, our photography teacher also take a, uh, took us to a home village in Anhui province to take some uh, picture. And for social research, um, oh, our uh, this is a course uh, related to sociology. And after learning the methods of sociology studies, uh, we will choose our uh, favorite topic, and uh, the the survey will last for a whole semester. Our group chose the topic that that is college students' attitude towards death. And it's a very tough work because we need to uh, read a lot of doc documentary and uh, uh, design our own questionnaire. Um, and uh, just in the last last uh, summer vacation, uh, our whole class went to uh, Shitoja village in Jiangsu province to uh, collect the villagers' letters from home. Uh, since China, uh, in China, ancestral culture is very important, and so. It, we think it's very meaningful to uh, to to study to to study the uh, ancestral tem temple or family models, something like that. And there's also a, a special project uh, that is campus media. Um, all of us will choose uh, choose one or more to join in, and I joined the NGU fact chat. Uh, it has the official account on WeChat, so. Uh, if Mr. Deming, if you are interested, you can <laughs> you can have a look at that. Okay, and um, our organization is uh, doing a job about uh, fact check. Uh, we think it's uh, basic work in journalism, and it's very important, especially in the post truth era. And uh, our job, uh, we will uh, check uh, every details of um, um, the hottest social news, and uh, some of us. Uh, some of us also will compare the uh, news reporting from different medias and examine their uh, qualities. Uh, so our, in conclusion, our job is to examine the value of journalism and professionalism in this era. And uh, last but not least, um, for future, um, of course, uh, in this short term, I, I really want to learn more about Scotland, it, its uh, your history, culture, people, and enjoy the beautiful scenery. And I heard that there's a, a BBC trip in the coming future. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and still, I, I want to learn more about shooting movies. And in the past, I, I wrote this uh, stories on my own, but this time I want to learn something about documentary shooting. So I, I hope that I can learn something from the DVC trip, and I hope so. Uh, so all in all, it's me, and it's always difficult to introduce myself in only five minutes, uh, because there's so much things about myself. I just uh, share my favorite things, my, and uh, my biggest hope. So I, um, thank. Thank you for listening.